All right, let's go ahead and make the uh, stripped uh, collage. The first thing I need to do is make sure that I flatten the PSD. Um, the second thing I want to do is go over here to my toolbar and grab the second tool down, which is the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to go out into the image and make my first strip by clicking and dragging. I'm going to grab my move tool at this point and go inside the selection and drag that into the template. Okay. At this point I want to go over to my layers and right click on my layers and uh, go up to convert to smart object. Okay. This will allow me to transform it so I can go command T, press the shift key to keep everything in proportion and then I'm going to reduce my size a little bit. Press the return key to take effect and then move that to where you want it to go to. And then it's just as simple as repeating the process. So I would go back to the initial image. I could grab my rectangular marquee tool and if I want to I can just move this over. Or what I'm going to do is go ahead and click in a new area and make a new strip. So I'm going to make a thinner strip. Grab my move tool, click inside here, drag it up and into my template, right click over on my uh, layers and go convert to smart object, press command T, press the shift key and transform that a little bit smaller, press return and then move that to where I want that to go. Now keep in mind they don't have to line up, it's probably better that they don't line up, it's a little bit more artistic. Okay so I would just repeat the process here. Okay, so I repeated the process uh, for a few more, and I could um, end it right there and call it good. Okay, or I could start to make some adjustments to some of these. Um, so what I'm going to do is select this layer, and a shortcut is to right click, and then select the layer right from there. Um, then I want to go ahead and put an effect on that. Uh, so I'm going to go I'm going to go up here to my adjustments panel and click on uh, hue saturation right here. So uh, once I add that hue saturation uh, what I want to do is click colorize and then go ahead and adjust the color based upon what I want. Now keep in mind that this is affecting all layers uh, below that layer. So what I want to do is make sure I just clip it into that one layer. There's a button right here that does that or you can go over to the layers palette and press the option key and click right on the line between those two and that will assign that only to that layer. So you can see that uh, this one is only colorized. Um, now right now it's blue so I'll change that a little bit so you can see that. So I'm going to change it to green. All right. uh, I'm going to repeat the process now. So I'm going to right click on this layer. That's layer 6. I'm going to go up here to Hue Saturation, click Colorize, and then go ahead and colorize that. I'm going to do like a pink. I'm, this time I'm going to click this button right here. And notice that that only affects that layer right there. So I would repeat the process th uh, throughout all of these. Now keep in mind, I chose to go ahead and colorize those, but you could do um, other things. For example, you could do like a lighter levels layer here and then a darker levels layer lighter darker and do it that way. Um, you could do where you would colorize certain elements of the image because remember over here in my layers palette I have um, a mask for each one of these so I could easily uh, go here and paint in a mask to paint in or out color as well. Okay the next step uh, we want to do is a drop shadow so what I want to do <clears throat> is go ahead and select my layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that layer and go to drop shadow. Okay. Uh, now notice over here the drop shadow uh, can be changed. So I'm going to take the distance down a little bit. I'm going to take the size down a little bit. 